Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be telling you about the architecture of the end-to-end -end project of Microsoft Fabric. I hope that you have liked my videos of the Microsoft Fabric course and you have learned so much about the Microsoft Fabric. In this, from this video, I will be making a project on Microsoft Fabric, you know, you know, like pulling the data from the sources and putting into a one lake instead of ADLS and then you know uh, writing some notebooks writing some logic in spike and then moving the code to the not code the data to the warehouses and then we can you know make some report on top of it and then we can also see how we can deploy the microsoft fabric workspace like from dev to you know higher environment okay so today, let's get started so first of all i would like to tell you about the data you know what data i'm going to use so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna use this data medicare part d prescribers by provider and drugs okay so i will give you the link in the description box so the name is date i mean the website name is data.cms.gov okay now if you can see over here uh, we have this download option okay so you can see you can download the latest data or you can also download the range from 2013 to 2021 okay and also apart from this you can see there is a access api option also so it means that we can access this data you know from the api okay now the thing is how how i am going to make this project you might be you know you might have watched this uh, data in some other places in some other youtube tutorials or udemy courses but i am going to you know twist this story or twist this project little bit and you know try to give you a proper you know proper real time feel okay so chalo, let's see how i can do that so basically you can assume we are having adls okay and there we are having some data from 2016 to 2020 okay now you can assume that this is the past year not past i i should say last year okay and we are in 2021 okay so from 2021 what they have done is that before they used to store the data into this adls this is my source okay now now the company has grown up and what they have done is that they made a api so what they are saying that hey team you can take this data the historical data from the adls and moving forward you should take the data from our api okay now if you already know data engineering then you understood that you know uh, this is a kind of historical load we are going to perform or or one time load from from this current year you can assume 2021 is the current year current year from this year i am going to uh, you know run the uh, you know run the uh, our jobs okay and this will be a scheduled i mean monthly basis or you know we a weekly basis or daily basis it depends on us how you know how we want to uh, you know fetch the data from the sources right now this is a kind of source i have also shown you the website you can also you know, play with it right now the, all these are the sources so what i am gonna do we know we have a one lake right or we have a lake house so in lake house what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create three layers i'm gonna create three layers branch so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull or fetch the data from the adls to our lake house in the branch layer 2020 and from 2021 i will be you know making that pulling the i mean the saving the data into the uh, lake house in the branch layer okay and uh, i will be making i mean you can assume this is the dot csv file and from api i am taking a json uh, response right uh, i'm saving the data in the json so i will be saving the data also with the same format we should not actually change the uh, format once we are copying the data from the source okay so we have the csv then csv then csv and then for this uh, api thing we will be having the data in the json file format now this is a branch layer right now 
on i mean after that we will be creating let me just choose another color okay now we will be you know making a silver layer okay now we will be i mean we are making a silver layer and what we are doing you know we are converting the csv files okay we are converting these csv files into into a parquet parquet files right whatever files we have it i am just you know converting into a parquet delta sorry delta delta parquet files okay afterwards so you know uh, we we might add some columns you know we might change some column names we might you know uh, delete some data or we might you know uh, delete some nulls value like that you know we can do in this silver layer and we save the data into our lake house afterwards what we have we have gold layer now since we are receiving this data right csv format and we have converted into delta parquet on top of that we are making our dimension and fact tables okay so like we are having only single file you can assume but on top of that we have to segregate what are the columns should be stored into a dimension table what are the columns should be stored in the fact table okay so we'll be making all these stuff you know uh, here and saving the data into a good layer then on top of that that we will make our tables and these tables we will expose in our reporting means power bi so it's a it's a simple uh, project i would say you know uh, if you have watched my uh, azure playlist you know azure course or delta lake course or using databricks and so and idea that this is a pretty simpler project you know i'm going to uh, create right and uh, and afterwards you know we will be also uh, you know checking how we can deploy these things from you know one workspace to another workspace right and all these operations see this historical load we are doing with the help of adf okay or these JSONs also we will be using adf i i should not say adf here dude i should say data factory sorry for that because i am coming from you know adf background so we should say here data factory okay and all these things right means you know uh, con i mean going from bronze to silver i will i can also use AD, uh, data factory but i will use here i will use here a spark notebook from from gold to let me just change the pen yeah it's not visible okay so going from silver to gold i will be using uh, i can also use adf and i can also use spark so i will be using spark notebook and then from tape for this i can use here i can use here you know uh, uh, data factory or i can also use here spark notebook it is depend on you but i would prefer to use spark notebook only because we can also save the data into tables Right, no need to use uh, you know that thing and then you know it will tie it, it will automatically take the data from the you know power bi now the thing is we have to schedule this pipeline so we will be using adf only uh, we will be using data factory only to schedule these pipeline okay so this is this is a this is going to be a, a kind of a simple project but the process which i'm going to perform that that may that maybe you will not be seeing in the other courses okay see you should not focus on the data because my company having a some different data some different businesses your company having some different businesses okay you should not focus on the data you rather than you should focus on the techniques what 
what we have what we can implement okay what will be the architecture of the project how you are you know performing historical load now this is also my this is also a challenge to perform a historical load how you can do you can assume if you are having like 20 years data i mean just assuming it or you know you can assume 100 gb of data then how you can you know actually run your pipeline make your pipeline you know so those things we will be you know uh, learning in this project that's why see you can learn learn tutorial you can learn uh, syntaxes anything you can learn from you know from youtube from any youtube course or udemy course but the thing is that you should make a project so that you will have some words to explain to the interviewer that what you had done in the recent interview someone has asked me hey sagar uh, what what type of project you have made so you know what i did i just shown my project what i have you know built in built in my company right and apart from this i have shown these four projects that azure project delta lake project adf project and this microsoft project i just told this story because you know i had planned that you know i will be making the project you know like this so they were very impressed actually kisaka you have made a project on air this microsoft fabric also i said yes just for practice purpose i have made and this is the process i have you know i have used this 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 was the you know architecture of my project so they were very impressed and and honestly i got a job also and uh, soon i will be leaving the name of the company where i'm going and uh, i really i got a very good height and without investing 50000 rupees okay and uh, i like i got 100% of height you know and uh, okay so i hope that you have uh, you have liked this uh, you know architecture if you wish and if you are watching this video on a youtube then i would suggest to invest some amount uh, on my course so that you can learn something new thing new thing right okay so chalo uh, let's stop this video here and we'll meet in the next lecture till then thank you bye bye